peace YouTube uh, as you can see I got on my desktop the reference book called Black's Law Dictionary we're going to reference this book and determine what the lawful meaning of words are starting with this word that we commonly use but we most most often use it <clears throat> in the term real estate we're going to analyze this word estate so that we can get a better understanding about the word and what it stands for okay so let's get to it okay first let's take a look at a web page entitled Investopedia. Can y'all see that? All right, cool. So, definition of a state. All of the valuable things an individual owns, such as real estate, art, collections, collectibles, antiques, jewelry, investments, and life insurance. Everything that you own is defined as a state. Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to individualize it, then we'll call it your estate. Investi Investopedia explains a state, the value of a personal estate usually becomes very important upon the death of the person in question. Those in line for inheritance often have to pay an inheritance tax on the estate. This tax can be very large, forcing the beneficiary to sell some of the inherited assets in order to pay the tax bill. How about that? All right, so we're going to take a look at a couple of things and find out about this inheritance tax. But first, we're going to go a little deeper into the term estate. So let's do some research. Hold up. When I went to Mr. Google and I asked him to define estate, this is what he came back with, along with these other links here. <clears throat> right, so he defines the state as an area or amount of land or property in particular. Number two, an extensive area of land in the country, usually with a large house owned by one person or organization. Right? Synonyms, property, holding, possession, domain. Domain is an interesting word. We're going to take a look at domain as we <clears throat> begin to understand more about this word estate. Okay? Hold on. Okay, I've jumped over here to a different website. It is InvestorDictionary.com where you can go and check this word out if you want. It's a estate. And it gives the law definition. A state is a term used in, in the common law, right? It signifies the total of a person's property, including money, entitlements, and obligations. It is often used in the context of a will and probate. It may also be used in reference to real estate a type of real, real property as an estate in land. An estate in land may be any carved out portion of the fee simple or a lodio, that's a term we don't hear much anymore, which is the most complete ownership that one can have of property in the common law system. 
So a lodial is only available in a common law system, right? And the state can be in the state for years. In the state at will, a life estate extinguishing at the death of the holder or a fee tail estate to the heirs of one's body, right? Fetal estate, that's an interesting term. Estate and land can also be described as estates of inheritance and other estates that are not of inheritance. So that's pretty clear as far as the estate in the common law common law, right? Okay. That gives me an idea. I'm going to go look up estate and the legal definition. We did that once. I want to take another look at that word. The legal definition of estate. Hold on. Okay, I pulled back up the Black's Law Dictionary, the 8th edition. And on page 1654, we found the word estate. Okay. And it says, the amount, degree, nature, and quality of a person's interest in land or other property, especially a real estate interest that may become possessory, the ownership being measured in terms of duration. See periodic tenancy under tenancy. Right? Okay, we're not going to go look up Tennessee right now, but we wanted to deal with the word estate. And I'm in the law dictionary, and that's the legal definition of um, estate, right? Let's take another look at the word estate. I just had an idea. Hold on. Okay, page 1655. We're going to read right here. Again, this is the eighth edition of Black's Law Dictionary. You can pull it up, go buy one, whatever the case may be, and read along. Anyway, here we go. The word estate was probably adopted because in early days, it was possible to ascertain a man's status or position in life by discovering a particular kind of tenure by which he held his lands. The quality of his tenure gave a clue to his status. The baron, for example, ought in theory to be the holder of a barony. He has the status. He has the status of a baron because he has the estate of a baron. One of the distinguishing marks of the freehold estates was the uncertainty of their duration. They were invariably <clears throat> he'll either for life or for some other space of time dependent upon an event which might not happen within a lifetime. And thus, a freehold estate came to be regarded as one which involved the performance of free services only, but as one which endured for an uncertain time. In this way, the word estate came to denote the quantity of a man's estate uh, of a man's interest in land okay then we see the term right here absolute estate a full and complete estate that cannot be defeated that's an absolute estate so y'all keep that in mind when you're out there dealing with real estate and so forth like that and you know, you go and ask the uh, real estate agent, <clears throat> uh, what type of ownership do I have in this property? They'll probably play like they don't know what you're talking about. Then if you turn around and ask them, what type of tenancy, tenancy, right? Like a renter? do I have in this property? Wait a minute, you just took out a mortgage for 
$500,000 and they got you listed as a tenant? What's wrong with that picture? Y'all let me know. Anyway, I got my ideas about it. Let me know what yours are. Hold on, we're going to go a little further. Okay, I went over here to, to this website. It's called Dictionary. Uh, the Free Dictionary. <clears throat> okay. And look up the word absolute. And absolute right here says it's complete, right? And the adjective for complete is absolutus. Well, let's go down here. This is better down here. Absolute conclusive, the adjective, right? They were starting to talk some foreign language up here, so we're going to deal with some English right here. It says, accurate, actual, beyond doubt, categorical, certain, clear, clearly defined, decided, decisive, definite, definitive, Determinate, right? Exact, explicit, express, final, fixed. Inalienable, right? Indisputable. So when we're talking about estate and we're talking about real estate, it seemed to me like we would want absolute. To be absolutely certain that we have an undefeatable title, right? I think so. Check it out. So, absolute estate is an undefeatable estate, a full and complete estate that cannot be defeated. That's what we need to be looking into. It's not much more we can do as far as defining this particular word. There's a lot of other words that we was dealing with in here <clears throat> uh, that we can go look up, but not right now. We want to end this. This is getting uh, pretty close to uh, 13 minutes, so that's a long, that's long enough to deal with the word estate. You can go and check it out for yourself at your convenience, but I think we covered it pretty good so you can know that estate is not just dealing with real estate. It's not just dealing with people that died and left some <clears throat> some type of inheritance it's your estate it's your the totality of the possessions or the assets that you might have and they also calculate into their your whatever your financial responsibilities are also your liabilities so that makes up your estate right so we're going to deal with another word at another time but for now 